I'm not going into that cavity. That nerve's already dying. A live, freshly cut nerve is infinitely more sensitive. So, I'll just drill into a healthy tooth until I reach the pulp. Unless, of course, you can tell me that it's safe. Curiosity may have killed the cat, but a rich supply of well-placed story questions has rescued countless of tales. But what are these questions and how should they be deployed? Let's jump right in. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Stavros Halvatsis. In writing screenplays that sell, Michael Haig points out that when something about a character or event is not fully explained, when a question is directly or indirectly posed but not immediately answered, readers and audiences plow on in search of an answer. Broadly speaking, there are two types of questions that arise in a story. A central question upon which the entire story depends and a series of smaller questions that bubble up as the tale progresses. Murder mysteries rely on a big central question. They ride on our insatiable desire to discover the identity of the killer. Our curiosity increases with each wrong guess. A film like Who Framed Roger Rabbit offers its title as a central question whose answer drives the entire plot. Who did frame Roger Rabbit? In Citizen Kane, discovering the meaning of the word rosebud, whispered by the dying Charles Foster Kane to a reporter, pushes the entire story forward. Smaller non-central questions may arise in particular scenes around curious or offbeat objects and actions, such as the recurring motif of the peculiarly shaped mountain in close encounters of the third kind or the reason behind Gatsby's parties in The Great Gatsby. In Silverado, the Kevin Klein character Patton is often asked, where's the dog? This is not the central question, but our curiosity is nonetheless piqued. Why do characters keep asking about the whereabouts of this animal? It's only towards the end of the film that we learn that Patton was once captured during a robbery because he tried to rescue a dog. This does not only satisfy the audience's desire for an answer, it increases the sympathy for Patton too. One of the most riveting scenes in cinema occurs in the film Marathon Man. Is it safe? You're talking to me? Is it safe? It's what's safe? Is it safe? Unless I know specifically what you're talking about. Is it safe? The drill-wielding Nazi, played by Sir Lawrence Olivia, keeps asking a terrified Dustin Hoffman, Is it safe? We, like the frightened character, desperately want to know. The point is that questions in general draw us into the narrative by demanding answers. The longer the writer withholds these answers from us, the deeper the suspense and the more satisfying the final revelation. Although it is true that the technique of peppering smaller questions throughout the story alone is not enough to carry the entire weight of the narrative, used in conjunction with a powerful central or overall question will help sustain the tale as it builds towards its climax and resolution. To sum it all up then, prevent interest in your story from flagging by ensuring you have a central question as well as a series of smaller but intriguing ones placed in scenes at strategic points along the way. Readers and audiences will keep reading and watching to have them answered. Well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like and subscribe buttons and leave a comment to share your thoughts and to help the channel grow. See you soon.